It's called the day the raccoon stole the laughter. <laughs> it's a children's story of a boy who tried to win the love and approval of a crowd every night. I was 14. I had a friend who was 15. I had a brother 16. Six foot two, 240 pounds. What does that mean to you, Rob? That's a big fucking kid. I'll fit him in for you, fucking. And when I was 14, I was very small. I was like Owen Meany small, or if you don't read a lot, like Simon Birch small. Read people, it helps my fucking jokes. But he used to pick me up like a little baby, this bully, the cradle me, go, hi, Darren, hi, little weird-headed guy, hi, little weird-headed guy, right? And throw me in this garage, he'd off the side of his house. And he had a pet raccoon he taught to be very vicious, so he'd pick up the raccoon and throw it in the garage after me. And he'd close the door, and I'd run around in the dark, and all I'd hear is, <laughs> And the raccoon would fucking bite me. And I was so small, I couldn't get on the car. I just like fucked the tire. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> again. Now all my stories have a silver lining. Because a year ago I was in a cab and we ran over a raccoon. And I never felt more alive in my life. <laughs> Bitch, motherfucker. Payback's a real bitch.